happy to announce a new series uh, of uh, programming from Mala Foundation. Uh, much as we're happy to bring you Mala news and projects from around the world in this show, sometimes the topic simply needs to be explored more thoroughly. And therefore we bring you the Mahler Spotlight. Um, this uh, event will be aired uh, every third Saturday of um, every month, and it will include a wide range of guest presenters exploring specific works by Mahler, um, recordings, cultural history, as well as in-depth interviews with uh, performers, composers, and other personalities from the world of music and culture. So we have more than our, our 12 minutes. We can spend a whole hour uh, on, on one topic. So uh, that's every third Saturday. Every first Saturday is Mahler Hour. Every third Saturday is going to be sort of a more in-depth Mahler Spotlight. Our first show is in two weeks. Um, and it will be, as uh, Lou just uh, told us, it will be on interpreting Mahler's music. It's a joint live stream with the Gustav Mahler Society of New York. Uh, Lou Smully will investigate three passages in Mahler from the sixth, seventh, and third symphonies and talk about tempo. So uh, join us, please, for, for that uh, show on the 17th. It will be the same time worldwide as uh, the Mahler Hour um, in your local uh, time zone. Finally, another uh, feature that we're just starting, and it's called Meeting Mahler. Um, <clears throat> uh, many of you, of you are joining us from locations from uh, far from where Mahler lived and worked. <clears throat> so we thought we would bring, you, uh, bring Mahler to your location. And we're doing this with a series of short first person visits to Mahler sites where you will be able to experience uh, these places. Um, 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 sorry, I lost my text just appeared. There we go. Where you will be able to experience these places uh, uh, first in first person. They're a little quirky. They're not so professional, uh, but they are very immediate uh, living impressions of, uh, of these places. So, um, we are going to start with where Mahler started with his composing huts. We're going to do a series on the three composing huts. We're going to start where Mahler did uh, in Steinbach on Ottersee. Uh, as it turns out, I'm the one who went there and did this, but I will not certainly not be the only one doing this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be uh, launching the series, but I'm inviting many of my colleagues around the world to, to help me out with this series. As I said, uh, this is the first of a series, and uh, we want to bring you to Mahler's locations. So uh, here's the first one, um, Mahler and Steinbach. Hello, and welcome to Steinbach and Mathezee. My name is Morten Solvik, and I'm going to be showing you the composing hut where Mahler found so much inspiration here in the Austrian countryside. I'd like to take you inside so you can have a look at what you'll be able to see here when you have the chance to come and see it yourself. As you enter, you'll see a piano in the middle of the room. This was not Mahler's piano, but he did have one here when he was working. He also had a little stove over here in this corner where uh, he would be able to warm up the hut when it got cold during rainy days here in Steinbach. Today, you'll find an exhibit covering major aspects of Mahler's life in German and in English. A display about this Knaben Hundehorn, the folk poetry collection that meant so much to him. A little bit about the history of the hut, how and when it was built. You'll get to meet Mahler over here, showing his real height. You can stand next to him and get a double portrait. And we have a panel for the second symphony and the third symphony. So you'll get a good chance to acquaint yourself with the historical background and the major works that were done here, as well as enjoy an incredible view of this lovely landscape and lake. While you're here, don't forget to sign our guest book. We have dozens of guest books with entries from people that have come from all over the world to give their thanks to Mahler, to record their impressions of this incredible place. And it's an incredible testimony to Mahler's worldwide reach and the depth of what he has impacted in people's lives to go through these books. If you want more information, you can also sign up for uh, a newsletter from Steinbach. 
behind the hut, you can see the beautiful mountains, the Erlingebirge. And in front of the hut, beautiful Lake Attersee with its crystalline clear waters where Mala would come down and swim every morning. I'm standing here in front of the Häuschen with Georg Föttinger, proprietor of the Föttinger Inn and also the composing hut. It's wonderful to have him here, isn't it? Yes, of course. We are proud to have Mala here as part of our life and we welcome you all over the world to visit this uh, composing hut of Gustav Mahler here in Steinbach. This is the front view of the much expanded Hotel Föttinger, Gustav Föttinger as it appears today, with the mountains in the background. And to be truthful, we have to show you this. There's a <laughs> camping ground between the hotel and the composing hut. Not the prettiest sight. And so we come to the end of our tour of this incredibly inspiring place. If you have the chance, do come and visit. And if you come in the summer, you might think of coming during our Steinbach Mahler Festival, which is always around Mahler's birthday every year. You can check out the details online at mahler-steinbach.at and get all the information. We look forward to welcoming you. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. Just a, an informal, personal look at uh, a very important place in Mahler's life. And uh, subsequently in mine, as it turns out, I thought it was appropriate that I take you there. Um, uh, much has happened in my life as a result of, of going there. Uh, so it meant a lot to me to introduce you to that very, very special place. Uh, next month, we have John Warner uh, introducing us to the composing hut in Meiernig, including a view of the villa from the lake. So that'll be uh, our next month's show.